Dismaland. Not exactly the Disney experience we are all used to seeing. Obviously from that video you can tell it is a darker version of Disneyland. So I was going to post what questions do you think or what, what does that bring up for you in terms of consumerism from seeing the video of Dismaland? I mean, I think Disney, of course, has become a bit of a money-making machine. I think we all know that. Um, that said, I feel like Disney also creates kind of a safe space mm -hmm. for kids that's kind of free from the troubles of the world. So him bringing in all the troubles of the world kind of contradicts, I guess, the point of why it was created. I think it's interesting, too, because it's not just the troubles of the world, but the troubles of Disneyland in itself, because mm -hmm. they do have, like, that one sculpture of Shamu coming out of the toilet, and it's kind of talking about how, like, we take all of this for our own entertainment, but we're not looking at the effect that it has on society. Like, we're taking these animals and confining them, and we just want to be able to see them as a viewing pleasure. We don't understand that we're taking them out of their environment and, and harming them. It's kind of a dangerous uh, uh, line that he's kind of crossing, because Disneyland is a lot of our childhood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for a lot of us at least, and for him to kind of put an edgier spin, do you think he runs a risk there of of definitely kind of pissing off some of the families and, and parents and those of us that have grown up with it? Mm. Of course. I mean, I think as we get older, this is stuff that we're kind of familiar with anyway. We kind of, you know, are disillusioned as we get older. Um, I think that's all fine, and I think there are a lot of people our age who would find it very interesting, especially as a social commentary. Um, but it also bothers me um, if, if kids are really going and seeing this just because I think they're going to get enough of that in the real world that they don't necessarily need it in a theme park when they're little. I also think Banksy, Banksy gets a lot of criticism for being like, like a social commentary light, like for people who don't want to think about it, just like everything he makes is, you know, consumerism bad, like capitalism <laughs> bad, very overt messages. And so I don't think this is going to help him because, you know, you look at it, it's literally like Disneyland bad, capitalist society. Gone is, bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the other thing too that's actually kind of ironic and funny is that from the opening there were, line, there were lines and lines of people showing up. Mm -hmm. And then when everyone came in, they were all taking photos and, and selfies, and the web kind of blew up with all of this, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm at Dismaland, and, right. which is, in a sense, playing back to his original mm -hmm. idea of consumerism.